When a dog suddenly ran into a busy hospital, the staff was appalled and tried to shoo it away. But one of the nurses got close enough to see what it was holding in its mouth, and the discovery brought her to tears. Around 6 a.m., Jack the dog began his daily breakfast run. He preferred to get an early start because the humans wouldn't be out and about yet, and this meant that he could get his food without being interfered with. As usual, he did a leisurely trot to the trash bins behind the string of restaurants on the main street of Brunswick in the United States. He didn't dislike humans, but he didn't particularly trust them either. In his nine years living in the streets, he'd seen the cruelty and thoughtlessness that they were capable of, and he'd often been on the receiving end of their thoughtless behavior. But there was one thing he would forever be grateful to them for, and that was their habit of dumping food scraps at the end of every day. It was among those bins that his senses suddenly stood to attention. Behind one of them, against the brick wall, was an old blanket. Something had been rolled up inside, and it was moving. Jack approached slowly. It smelled human, which didn't sit well with him. But when he pressed his nose against the bundle to get more information, he realized this smell was different from any human scent he'd ever picked up before. His instincts told him that this was something tiny, fragile and helpless, and even if it was human, it would die if he didn't do something. After staring at the blanket for a few minutes, Jack nosed at it and turned the bundle so he could get a gentle grip on it with his mouth. Then, he lifted it. He was now a stray dog on a mission. Whatever was inside the blanket moved a little, and then went completely limp. In his doggy brain, it was time for Jack to make his next decision. What to do now? He needed help, but it was too early for the restaurants to be open. That meant there wouldn't be any humans around yet. And as much as he wanted to remain indifferent, he knew it was human help he needed. The tiny shape in the blanket squiggled again, and Jack realized the urgency of his mission. There was a strange building a few blocks away where he sometimes scavenged for food. And he knew from experience that there were always humans there, coming and going at all hours of the day. Five minutes later, when he turned the last corner, he saw that he was right. There were plenty of humans there. Some were milling in the parking lot, and others were hurrying through the sliding doors. A large truck approached from his left. It had flashing red lights and made a horrible wailing sound. Jack immediately aimed for the sliding doors. Inside the Brunswick Hospital, the shifts were about to change. A patient from an ambulance was being wheeled into one of the emergency rooms, and the nurse behind the counter was on the intercom system, summoning the ER doctor on duty. That's when she noticed the dog. The sight immediately raised her hackles. Sure, there was the hygiene issue, but a dog in the ER would inevitably cause a distraction. And this was not the kind of environment where distractions were welcomed. Not on her watch. So she stepped out from behind the counter and immediately started shooing the dog away. Jack could see that the woman was trying to chase him away. She didn't even look at the bundle in his mouth. His instinct was to drop the blanket and its contents on the floor and leave, but for some reason, he decided to find another human. He deftly sidestepped the angry woman and rushed into a small kitchen. Three ladies were having coffee. At first, they didn't notice him. But when they did, two of them immediately started to shoo him away, just like the lady behind the counter had tried to do. The little bundle in his mouth squirmed again, and Jack looked hopefully at the third woman. She was looking at him quizzically. Then, she got up from her chair and crossed over to him. Speaking in a soft voice, Jack immediately liked her. She wasn't like the rest, so he allowed her closer. When he was sure he had her whole attention, he gently lowered the bundle to the floor and took a step back. Angelina Potter had been on the staff of Brunswick Hospital for almost 10 years, and this was the first time she had seen anything like this. She knew dogs, and she knew how they communicated with humans. This dog's behavior had everything to do with the bundle in its mouth. And when he dropped it on the floor and stepped back without giving up much ground, she knew this was important. From the condition of the dog's coat, she could see it was astray. Angelina didn't want to startle the animal, but she also knew that she had to get her hands on the little bundle on the floor as quickly as she could. She took another two steps forward, keeping her voice low and even while she spoke to the dog. He took another step back. She had a feeling it was to give her access to the rolled up blanket, that he wouldn't relax until she looked inside. When she knelt on the floor and gently unwrapped the bundle, tears welled up in her eyes. 
This was the last thing she would ever have expected. And yet she knew what it was even before she peeled the last layer of the blanket away. It was a tiny baby, no more than a few days old. It was hardly breathing, and its skin was blue from the cold. Angelina immediately sprung into action. She shouted at the nurse behind the counter to get a doctor and added that there was an infant in life-threatening distress. She warmed her hands by rubbing them together and started to tap the baby's chest in the bottom of the feet to see if she could get a reaction. Nothing. The infant had a heartbeat though and this gave her hope. When the doctor arrived, she stepped aside. He checked for a heartbeat and listened for signs that the infant was breathing and then wheeled it away on a gurney. Angela exhaled slowly and turned her attention back to the dog. She praised him for his actions and stuck her hand out in the hope that it would let her touch him. This was out of the ordinary for Jack. This woman was trying to touch him. Normally, he would never allow that, but he liked her. He knew in his heart she was kind. However, he had no idea that what would happen next would change his entire life. When Angelina held her hand even closer, the dog relaxed. She gently rested her hand on his head and then started rubbing him behind the ears. She wanted to reward this incredible dog for saving the life of a newborn, but she knew that in order to do that, she'd have to get him to trust her first. Jack had already decided that this human would be his friend. She rubbed his ears in exactly the spot he loved, and when she turned to grab a jacket from the coat rack, he stayed on her heels. Angelina smiled when the dog sat down and watched her pull her coat on. Then, with another ear fondle, she turned and headed to the door. You coming? She asked over her shoulder while slapping the side of her leg. Jack understood and followed her out the door. Three months later, much had changed for the stray dog, the baby he'd rescued, and the nurse herself. Firstly, Angelina had taken Jack home and he was now permanently living with her. It was his very first forever home and he was adjusting beautifully. But the good news was far from over. Jack couldn't believe it when his new human arrived back from work one evening with a little bundle in her arms. He recognized the smell immediately and jumped up in excitement. The tiny human in her arms was the same one that had been rolled up in an old blanket in the alley behind the Italian restaurant. Angelina sat down with the infant in her arms and the dog at her feet. Three months ago, her life had been a lonely place. And now, all because of the brave and sensible actions of this magnificent stray dog, she had a family she would love forever. What a beautiful ending! Would you have approached the dog like Angela did? Or would you have tried to shoo it away from the hospital hall? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.